What's up, y'all? So did I cheat a message to my ex? This is Chanel, um, which is Omala oh X. And yeah, we about to get into this. Ah, just, just get into this, all right? Shit. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And with the goddamn hair, yeah, lead. So, um, I don't know. She's crying. Let's get into it. They love you more than they love themselves or more than anything in this world. It literally gets scary, bro. Like, nobody, nobody's gonna understand how I feel. It's your girl Chanel and I am back with another video. So first of all, before I even get into this video, make sure you guys give this video a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure your post notifications are on to all and follow me on my social networks right here. And I had to get up, I had to get up and make this video. Like this shit is getting crazy. Cause it's like, I don't know if y'all know what's going on. Um, I had a couple of Shannon and me and Omala, we was together. We broke up or whatever. I made two videos. And um, one was recent, and then she finally responded like four months later. So she said her side of the story, and you already know. Like, first of all, people who support me, they're still supporting me. And, you know, of course, there's some people who switch sides or like, oh, my God, you this, you that. Uh, uh. Okay, so I just want to touch on, because I did watch her video, and I really did want to do this, and I still don't want to do this. And it's still some stuff that I'm trying my hardest not to say, like, I swear to God, out of respect for her, like, because it's just, things could get very messy very quickly, and I did not want to go this route, like, I just didn't want to go this route. I just want to say that our relationship, and she knows this, our relationship has been going downhill for a long time, so for her to get on this, this camera and say that, oh when you got your surgery you really changed so i really do think surgery had to play a part like one thing i want y'all to know and i'm saying in this in the most humblest way teeth done or body done or not i could have left the relationship at any time and still prospered or still like relationships just don't work out sometimes it doesn't always have to be oh one person cheated or this person got their body done and they think they all that or they're like people outgrow each other like i met her when i was 22 years old i'm 27 like i i i want two different things now we literally outgrew each other and i outgrew her and i'm not gonna let nobody make me feel bad about that like literally if you think back to all the youtube couples and you, she shouldn't feel bad about that. I just want to talk about the cheating part. Like, did you did you at least tell her? You know what I'm saying? And don't don't let me get on this camera and act like you know you can't cheat and you just about to tell a person. I, I that's not even realistic in all situations. So I'm not just trying to I'm not trying to be like you know, hey I'm cheating. Like I, I didn't do that. Like I, nobody's perfect in, on that situation. It just don't happen like that. Um, but I guess with my relationship now, you know, we always spoke about if it, if it were to ever happen, just give me the option, bitch. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the relationship I have now, but it was probably on the basis of how we met too. Um, and I don't know, we're both Leos. We just kind of know each other. You know what I'm saying? But if they birth, if they're both Virgos, girl, I don't know. I'm gonna keep listening. Couples that started out Darren Ken, um, mad mad couples that y'all swore was forever. What happened? Yeah, like yeah, people yeah. literally outgrow each other, and that's something that I'm really gonna need y'all to understand. And I'm not gonna get bashed or belittled or have anybody make me feel bad about outgrowing somebody because it happens and i'm not i never discredited her and said that she didn't help me during my surgery i'm saying you guys like to say oh she got her body done and she left you um like i said i was getting surgery regardless and our relationship was going downhill regardless she know that me and her hadn't even really fucked in like a year or years i didn't even want to have sex like we didn't have sex together we did it's a lot of stuff that A year?
a year. <laughs> Hell, a week or two got it, especially when a nigga busy, bitch. We could too, got it. I am not even three. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn. That's a long, 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 long time. <laughs> That's a long time. That's a very long, 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 long time. Respectfully, I would have been cheated on your ass. <laughs> I would have been cheated on whoever, okay? <laughs> you or her, whatever. Like, no, 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 no. That's one of my non-negotiables, baby. I, you, <laughs> you got to fuck me. If I want it, I need that. You know what I'm saying? I need it. Ah. <sighs> happened that she knows like our relationship was going downhill way before surgery was in the, the the picture she knew i felt depressed she knew i didn't feel like myself she knew i felt tied down she knew that i felt like i was in a possessive relationship where i couldn't grow and she knows that she didn't give me room to feel like i could grow and venture out and be around friends and have a social life outside of her she always made me feel guilty about that and she knows that for a fact she knows that shit for a fact because that was a big problem in our relationship because I enjoy freedom, individuality. And now she's talking about that or that she's big on that. But you wasn't big on that in our relationship. And you know that. Like, I could admit to things that I was wrong or certain traits about my personality. I'm not that affectionate, things like that and all of that. But you have to admit that you was very controlling. You really tried to control me, bro. Like, it's mad shit and it's mad examples where I couldn't do stuff. And it literally got to the point where my family was literally concerned. And, and let's talk about it. Like, let's even talk about it. When I say, like, you're possessive, you were possessive and you were controlling. Like, it was a time where my best friend, my high school best friend, she had came um, to Georgia to visit and I tried to go see her. Like, when I tell you, oh my God, I had like a fucking, like, she went crazy. Like, and that was my first time ever trying to hang out with anybody outside of her. And, bro, I've never seen that side of her. It was scary. Like, it She can't, you can't have a bad bitch and not let her live. <laughs> That's just not how that works. I, I'm so glad I'm not like that. Now, I, do I want you out at 3 o'clock in the morning? Hell no. And another thing that I don't like is you being at the club by yourself. Club, bar, anything by yourself is not for me. You know, because I'm concerned about your safety more so than I'm concerned about you smashing somebody else. Um, but not you can't go outside? Like, that's not... So many more questions. Literally, she was standing at the door telling me that I couldn't go. She told me that I was fucking my best friend, bro. My best friend, I hang out with my best friend to this day, Misha. Like, I couldn't hang out with her. I literally was crying. I had someone threaten my life and say that like they will hurt their self. And she knows that this is true. She knows that this is true. She knows she did that shit. And that just set a tone that literally just scared me, bro. Like, I can't even have a life outside of you. Like... This shit is scary. Like, and let's really talk about it. Like, and I did not want to go this deep, but oh my God, you know how you made me feel. You know that I felt so controlled. Like, you know, you know exactly what you did to me. Like, you literally, I could not be a person outside of you without feeling bad. Like, I would literally, I remember that day like it was yesterday. I was so fucking scared. Like, I literally, it was my first day ever trying to hang out outside of you, bro. You put on a big ass scene. You stood at the door. Like, I literally felt like a fucking kid. Like, I, that shit was so scary. Because I had never tried to hang out with anybody but you. And this was the reaction. And I was like, bro, this reality is crazy. Like, so, you know, we ended up working past that shit. But it was so scary. And it never left my mind. Then, most recently, when you was here, just controlling behaviors that I had to deal with. And one night, my sister, it was her best friend birthday party, and I wanted to go. I ended up telling Omala I was going, uh-uh, yo, she's 
stood by the door. She went into a fight with me. Like, I couldn't do anything. And when I, I just stormed out the house. And when I got to the party, I was just looking at everybody and all the women. I was like, I know everybody here is not single. And I just want to know when it was time for them to head out. Like, were they stopped at the door? Were they questioned? And, like... Where was it like gotta be a fight or argument like every time I tried to do anything outside of her bro It was like a fight or argument like and if You with one of your friends your cousin your niece, whatever the fuck. I don't care Long as y'all are together you got that eye And you safe Bye <laughs> I'll see you later Three o'clock in the morning? And then all the time consecutively? No, no, no. I can't do that. However, uh, go on about your business, though. I'll see you when you get bite. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, my only concern has always been for a woman. And I don't care if you're my sister. It's just your safety. You know what I'm saying? And three o'clock in the morning hours, you giving up that ass to somebody. So, mm. After a while, she tried to fix it because she know how bad it was. But it's like, you already set the tone to the point where I even feel guilty about interacting with anybody outside of you. Like, mm. and that shit, that shit is toxic. And that shit makes you feel tied down. It makes you feel terrible. And like, I'm not going to sit up here and let nobody make me feel like I'm bugging <laughs> for <laughs> You can see your friend in the morning lay down, bitch. <laughs> like, not feeling okay about that shit. Like, okay, so a couple of things. So a couple of things. She said that, um, you know, what did I do for her? She said, well, I feel like I did a lot for you. And what did you do for me? Girl, I did a lot for you. Like, don't play with me. I did a lot for you. Like, a whole lot. Like, first of all, I had met you online. And you came to New York City and you never left. Like, you came on a one-way ticket and you never left me. Okay. So I gave you somewhere to stay. I gave you somewhere to live. I even lost where I had to live because I was, like, sacrificing my situation for you. You came to visit me and you never... left and I had a whole living situation that I had going on that it didn't work out like I you know I was living with my sister and it was like you just messing my internet and how they just live here so I was fucking with her so hard that I'm like well I'm leaving so I left an apartment that my mother left for me and my sister that we were supposed to maintain together to keep what we had going on and that's a big deal because I because people really would move in with you and fuck up your whole situation you got with with the person you living with had, like it had brought a big thing in me and my sister's relationship and all of that so it's like you saying what did i do for you that's one of the number one things i did for you you came to me on a one-way flight and we built and and i sh i gave you a place to stay and we stayed together and we built and we grew together so don't sit up here and say what did i do for you because i got on camera and said a lot that you did for me and you said not financially i said a lot of shit that we that we did and built together that i appreciate so, like, don't sit up here and say, what did I ever do for you? Anytime something happened with your family, da, da, I was your right-hand man, and I was right by your fucking side when I needed to be. It was random times you needed to make it to Georgia, uh-uh. I, I, I was there for you. I was there for you, your family, uh-uh. Like, don't sit up here and be like, what did I do for you? Like, because you said you sat and thought, damn, I did a lot for her. What did she do for me? Then it was times that we were in a relationship and you're older than me. And it's like, I would try to try to motivate you with different stuff with like credit, different things like that. Like really growing. And you know that it will cause arguments, fights. It's like, you didn't want me. You didn't even want me to help you in certain ways because when I did, it turned into an argument. Like me saying something to try to motivate you was like, you felt like it's me belittling you or something. Like Ugh. our connect, like sometimes our connection and our vibe, it just wasn't really seeing eye to eye. And you know, you know what happened that day when we was out and we- She's emotional. Um, oh my la. Well, at least from what it sound like, cause don't get me wrong, I don't know you. I don't know if you're gonna watch this, but from what she's saying, she just seems emotional. Let me just say that. We had the credit conversation and how that went. And like, that was me trying to do something for you and try to motivate you and, and shit like that. And you just, bro, you know, like you already know 
the dynamic and how that shit was going. I don't know if you even know, but it's so crazy, guys. It was to the point, like, towards the ending of this relationship, my mother and my sister was literally scared for my safety. Towards the ending of our relationship, I was spending more time outside because I was not happy. I was telling on my mom day to day that I wasn't happy with her. I wasn't happy with the relationship and I didn't want to be with her. It's so crazy that one time I had my sister on the phone with my phone in my bag because my sister was so worried about my safety. And they knew how I was feeling. She knew how I was feeling. And everybody was like, you have to express yourself to her. Like, you have to let her know cold turkey, like what it is. And I was telling her, but like I had to really tell her, like, listen... I don't feel like I'm in love with you anymore. And I don't feel like this is working. Like, I don't feel like this is working out. And she literally, she put on a big scene, guys. Like, it was literally scary. Like, she fell to the floor. She act like she was gonna literally probably kill herself or me. I swear to God. Like, and it was so scary. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I probably would have fucking texted her. And would have already been gone, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I feel like everybody has had a breakdown moment like this. I've had a breakdown moment like this. Um, y'all know I'm, a, <laughs> I'm very transparent with y'all. Not a breakdown moment like her. A breakdown moment like, oh my la. Um, I, I truly don't think that she loves herself. And, you know, I don't want to say too much because I really don't want her to look at this and feel like I'm disrespecting her because I'm not um, in, in disrespecting her situation. I just know, I know where she's coming from. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I don't know. It's just a lot. It's a lot. I don't know if people know what that feels like. Like to be like you're literally feeling like you're outgrowing <laughs> how about i just got a copyright on messy monday because of the damn music with soldier boy a person it's not working you're trying to tell them and they love you so much that they don't want to leave you and I, I could definitely understand that but relationships take two it takes two people and it, it's it's really bad that yes i feel like we're outgrowing each other we want two different things out of life which is okay because i met you when i'm 22 and i'm 27 like i have the right to outgrow to grow and to grow separate if we're not fulfilling each other like you said in your video you're happier without me you feel good you're glowing bro we were depressed we were fucking we were dying together bro like we were not happy and i told you that shit like I told you, I, I told you so many times, like, and you sitting up here acting like I didn't, you know, you know the truth, bro, like, you know, I wasn't happy with you, and I told you. This is terrible, because I understand both, both sides, I really do. Well, like I say, well, with oh my la, she, she, she definitely got a, um, got to do some soul searching for her and not saying she ain't got to do no soul searching but i'm just saying she she she's saying that she's better now and i and i hope she is she's saying she's better now and i hope she really really is um i think that she just loved her you know way more than she loved herself you know what i'm saying and like i say i, I don't want her to see this and feel disrespected um I just, you know, we've all been there before. And with Chanel, I just think she was just ready to be free. You know what I'm saying? It's just a toxic, unfortunate situation. You this shit to your face. Every single time I told you that I didn't want to be with you no more, you put on a fucking scene. Like, a crazy ass scene. And it's like, sometimes I literally was scared for my safety, bro. Like, I literally thought that this girl could kill me i'm not even playing oh, and she wants to pnc see this shit and say that i'm bugging but she know the real tea like you know like you know and it's like you might say shit and not mean it but it's like people are really out here getting killed by these significant other right. shit so it's like don't say some right. shit that you don't mean and i believe that shit like when you told me that shit i believe that shit like damn like Yeah.
y'all. This, this. Whoa. I, I didn't expect none of this shit. Oh my God. I don't even know what to say. I am. So it's like, I, I literally told this girl so many times, like I didn't want to be with her. Like I'm not happy. And she just kept tantrums she be like well we gotta work something out we gotta no like i don't want to work nothing out like i know that i don't feel the same way about you anymore and i don't want to be with you like it sucks it hurts but i'm telling you i'm being real with you you did not want to accept that like you still try to hang on you still like no but we could work okay i'll just finally i'll give you the space i'll do this and i'll do that i understand that you want to do it now because i'm at my breaking point and i'm like i can't do this no more but you already set this tone for me like even if you let me have friends now you let me have a social life bro i feel guilty as fuck about it i don't feel confident about it because this is not who you are you already show me who you are and how you react in these situations so it makes me uncomfortable to really be myself so I told her straight up, she know that I had this conversation a couple of times with her. We had conversation. Like, I <laughs> want you to think. Yeah, it was to let you for me. It was for sure to let you for me. Especially let you have friends. Like, man. Back to mad times, like when you were, you know, going through we have mad emotional nights you know that you know the nights i'm talking about if you're watching and, and all those nights was all signs that this shit is not working and i don't want to be with you anymore and i had stayed in this relationship way longer than i needed to because i was just scared to end it like i didn't even know like, I just didn't know what was going to happen. And when I came home and she was gone, I was so shocked. Because I thought that in order for us to leave, it was going to be some crazy shit. Like, I, I just didn't. I just didn't even think she had it in her to just leave up and leave like that. The way that she carried on and asked about me. And people be thinking, like, people loving you unconditionally and shit is cute. It's great to have somebody love you. But when they love you more than they love themselves or more than anything in this world, it literally gets scary, bro. Like, nobody, nobody's going to understand how I feel. Like, no. I understand how you feel. I was in some toxic shit just like this. And, girl, it's a mess. It is a hot ass mess. Shit. Mm -mm. No. Like, I just, y'all don't even understand. Like, feeling so claustrophobic and feeling like you can't grow. And you telling the person over and over, like, this is not working. I don't want to be with you. But they trying to hold on. They like, no, we going to do this. We going to do that. We got to cancel this. We going to do this, bro. It's bigger than that. Like, I just don't feel the same. You get what I'm saying? And then, so I told her all it is, nothing was changing. So, yes, I was going out. So, it was nights where I would hang out with my sister and she had man late. I was going out and I was staying out because I did not want to come home. Like, I was not happy. It was like, I keep telling So, that happened. I was her. I was staying out to 3 o'clock in the morning my damn self. You don't want to go home. Mm. this person i don't want to be with them and it's not working and they're not listening to me like they're threatening to hurt themselves they threaten like they've been trying to make you feel bad but it's just not working like and then i had a conversation i was like we could plan like i told her straight to her face like i don't want to be with you anymore i'm not in love with you and you know i feel like when we do break up like I not i look so ugly when i cry why she look good when she cry I ain't gonna lie, I was thinking the same shit. <laughs> My crop be like, eh, eh. I hate crying, bro. I hate it. Okay. Her cry just like real smooth and shit. <laughs> shit I, I feel like we should ride out this lease and we'll do this. We do. I, we literally had a whole conversation about all of this. You get what I'm saying? And and then, then she's coming on here talking about I'm in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. I'm actually single. Really? And, you know, 
and then she want to talk about receipts and all that and i'm going to tell you guys how possessive and crazy that this girl is she has a tracker on my phone even till now so it's a lot of stuff going why is a tracker on your phone now on like that y'all don't know about when she left she took my social she took my birth certificate she took all my stuff she took the youtube channel had my social security number still on it connected to it and she left her laptop here so by mistake and it's like the only reason why i got my social and my my, my paperwork back and all that shit back is because she left her stuff here y'all really have to understand this shit unfolds and it has a lot of layers to it and it's reasons behind everything and like nobody is gonna make me feel bad about what's going on and, like i'm telling you right now like she knew we both knew that this relationship was coming to her, and i told her straight up and the person that she's saying that i talk to right now honestly i i never because she tracks my phone she she tracks my phone she invades my privacy and even when we aren't together she tracks my phone because she told me that i'm dating somebody that first she's still fucking with her you got to still be fucking with her. Ain't no way. Because why would she still have a track? <laughs> what? Phone would have been in a river. Ocean. Yeah. Bitch would have got an Android flip phone. <laughs> You'd be like, no, ma'am. Why? Why? What? First of all, nobody in the world would know that I was talking to them unless you tracked my phone because oh. me and this person, we wasn't on certain networks together. We wasn't. And I honestly have receipts that I did not see him until after she left. Like, I have receipts that I did not link him till after she left and i don't care because our relationship been over i've been telling her how i felt and there's like no she time she might be tracking her phone another way one to when you can like move on like if we're not together you leave and i keep telling you i don't want to be with you and i'm telling you like this is not working babe like i love you but this is not working like we're not working like we're out we just it's not working. You know I didn't want to be with you anymore. You know I wasn't happy. And you know you wasn't happy. And yes, you wanted to marry me. You wanted to. But, bro, you was depressed. I was depressed. You was not happy. I was not happy. And you just tried to hold on to something because of the time and the potential. But we knew. Me and you, we knew that this shit was not going right. Telling somebody, like, I'm not in love with you anymore, I don't feel the same, it's painful. But it's best that you tell them instead of, like, leaving them high and dry or you really are. That's what I was wondering, did she tell her? So since she told her, shit. I mean. Doing some infidelity shit when it's like, yo, you acting like you in love with this person, you cheat on them, and they really think you they rider, and you leaving them embarrassed. Me and her, a lot had already changed. We had stopped fucking. We wasn't posting each other. Our relationship was dead. I told her that I'm not in love with you. I don't feel the same about you. We aren't happy with each other. Look at us. And I told her that. So after I told that and she I realized like she was not buttoned, she didn't care about how I felt. She didn't respect my feelings. She felt like, I don't give a fuck if you want to be with me or not. Like, we going to stay together. But relationships don't work like that. Okay. It takes two people. It literally takes two people to, yeah. to create a relationship. And um, once I realized like this girl is not letting up or she's not gonna let me, she's not gonna let me like, and I understand it's a five year relationship, but we worked through this for years. This shit wasn't peachy cream for like two or three years. We've been working on our relationship and nothing was working. Like, we were not growing. This is why we feel so much more alive away from each other and we feel better because we were together, dying together. Yeah, right. We didn't feel good. We weren't growing, and I can tell you that. Mm. So I did start spending more time out the house. I didn't want to be home like that. I was hanging out more with my sister and my family. I was trying to separate myself away from her as much as I could because she, we were so codependent, and I just wanted to feel like me. I wanted to feel like a human. I wanted to feel like I could do shit. I side of somebody and feel like a fucking individual bro so yes 
then one night I came home and she was gone. She she just she was missing. And then I had spent the night at my sister house. I was literally at my sister house. I slept over at her house. I have a room there, a room that me and her used to stay in. I slept at her house because it was like certain nights I just didn't want to come home because every night we was arguing and we was going back and forth about like the about our relationship declining. And it's like, bro, like I already told you what it is. Like I don't want to come home and be in misery every night. Like yeah, it was. I understand her. 110,000%. So miserable. And like even coming home and just being worried sometimes. Like sometimes her breakdowns was scary. And I used to tell her like you need help. And she know I used to tell her that because it used to be scary. Our relationship was done and you know it. And the internet knows it. One thing y'all can guarantee. Did y'all see us popping out? Did y'all see us being happy? Did y'all see us posting couple videos? Did y'all see us together interacting? No, for months. Like, our breakup came out of nowhere. It seemed sudden to y'all. But really think back, like, our chemistry and everything was off for a minute. This is nothing new. Our relationship was dead. We were holding on to dead weight. We were holding on to the fact that she just didn't want to accept that I don't want to be with her anymore. So it's like, we're just holding on for dear life. And I'm just sacrificing myself for my happiness to please her. Knowing, like, bro, I don't want to do this. And I told you. And you know this. And you still want to hang on. You don't want to let me go when this is not what I want. So, you know, that's the real tea. I'm just going to leave it at that. And y'all take what y'all y'all take. Oh, girl. <clears throat> I almost feel like I shouldn't even react to this, man. I feel terrible. Uh, but yeah, I mean, she, she showed accountability. There was no lies. I will say that, um, oh my lie was, was saying like she was just leaving her for nothing. And I don't know. A lot of shit that she said, she was absolutely right. A lot of shit that Chanel said, oh my lie, oh my lie showed that in her video. So. Mm. This is terrible. But I'm done with this video, man. Uh, I don't even know what else to say. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. yeah.